Alcohols can be oxidized to form aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids. And in this video, I'm going to be summarizing these oxidation reactions. We're going to begin with the oxidation of a primary alcohol. This is an example of a primary alcohol. Primary using the same sort of classification as we've used for other primary things like primary carbocations. A primary alcohol is one where the OH group is attached to a carbon that is bonded to only one other carbon. Primary alcohols can be oxidized to form either an aldehyde or a carboxylic acid. So the first step of the oxidation process, we are going to form an aldehyde and the aldehyde can be further oxidized to form a carboxylic acid. And for now, I'm just going to be using that O in brackets to indicate the oxidation process, but I am going to give you a list of the different reagents that, that will carry out these different types of oxidations. This is, you know, just a generic um, primary alcohol, so it doesn't really matter what this carbon chain is. We're going to get the same reaction for all primary alcohols. Secondary alcohols, such as um, the one that I've listed here, are molecules where the OH group is bonded to a carbon that is bonded to two more carbons. So this would make a secondary alcohol. Secondary alcohols can be oxidized to form ketones. And again, this is just a generic secondary alcohol. It does not matter what these R groups are. Uh, all secondary alcohols will, will form a ketone. Last but not least, down here at the bottom, we have a tertiary alcohol. A tertiary alcohol is one where the OH group is bonded to a carbon that is bonded to three carbons. Tertiary alcohols do not do oxidation reactions because there is no room to form a carbon-carbon double bond in this molecule. That carbon atom has three bonds already that cannot be broken, and if we form a double bond, that's going to give that carbon atom five bonds, which is way too many. So oxidation of a tertiary alcohol is not possible. There is no reaction here. Now, in terms of the oxidizing agents, what can we use to do these oxidations? There are three general types of oxidizing agents. First one, we have CrO3, chromium, uh, chromium 3 oxide, in an acid, typically just written as H3O+, and in a solvent acetone, typically. This is not a multi-step process. This is all three of these things together. So this combination could be one set of reagents that you could see written instead of the O for oxidation. Another option that we have is sodium dichromate, Na2Cr2O7, and this is also acidic. So typically we see H2SO4, comma, H2O, um, but you might see some other version, like instead of this, you might see H3O+. In addition, um, instead of sodium dichromate, you might see potassium dichromate, K2Cr2O7, that works as well. Uh, and then last but not least, the third reagent that we have is PCC, pyridinium chlorochromate, in the solvent CH2Cl2. This is called dichloromethane. Sometimes you might see it written as DCM. It means the same thing. So any one of these three sets of reagents will serve to do the oxidations in these various steps, although not all of them work exactly the same way. So the PCC reagent is not a strong enough oxidizer to do this particular conversion right here. So let's make a little note here that this um, can't be PCC, again, because it's just not strong enough. So if we have a primary alcohol and we use the PCC reagent, we're only going to get this first step happening and we're not going to get it going all the way to the end. In addition, these two reagents, the, the ones, um, the CrO3 and Na2CrO7, because those reagents are so strong, um, we will not be able to do just this single step right here using these individual reagents. So this aldehyde, we'll make a note, can't be formed with uh, CR, the CrO3 reagent and also can't be formed with the sodium dichromate, Nr2, Na2Cr2O7. 
really kind of jammed all of this up here I try to maybe move it out of the way a little bit to make it a little bit easier to look at so there's a little bit of restrictions in terms of which reagents work uh, as far as oxidation of the secondary alcohols you can use any one of these three reagents no matter what you use you're going to get the same product for oxidation of the primary alcohols if you use the pcc reagent you are only going to accomplish this first step of the reaction if you use either CRO3 or Na2CRO7, you will not be able to isolate the aldehyde and instead you're just gonna go straight to the carboxylic acid. You'll just end up straight here at the end. 